Hello and welcome to Good Googly Moogly for Tuesday, July 9th, 2013, or as shall otherwise be known as GGM. Uh, before we get into tonight's topic, let's first talk about what Good Googly Moogly means. Uh, it actually has a dual meaning. It's basically an exclamation. It could either mean uh, something crazy and horrible that's just happened, or it could be something really amazing and wonderful. Um, my inspiration for the inaugural episode is based on something that was said to me at work today. Um, I originally was going to start out this series with my best friend slash play sister. Uh, and that's still going to happen. We will still uh, have many, many episodes together. Myself and Erica. Uh, you will get to know her in the future. Um, but something happened today to kind of make me do an about face and decide, you know what, let's start it tonight. Um, I I was at work today and a really, really nice woman came in. Um, very pretty, very sweet, uh, very pregnant. Um, her name was Nicoleta, uh, but she goes by Nicole. And um, I, I, I work, well, I won't say where I work, uh, but I was doing some posters for her um, based on some pictures that were taken recently at her baby shower. Um, and anyway, uh, at, at one point I went to take a small, tiny break and went to go buy some candy just to get me through the evening. I needed a sugar rush. And I was talking to my coworker, and I saw, uh, or we saw, uh, Nicole uh, not too not too far away from us. And she made a comment about her belly and how, how cute her pregnant belly was. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, she's really, really nice. I'm doing some posters for her for her baby shower. And I was like, oh, I'm totally jealous, you know, which I am and I'm not at the same time. And then uh, my coworker was, coworker was like, well, why are you jealous? And I was like, well, because I want to be her. <laughs> <laughs> which it's funny because I, I'm totally my own person I don't desire to be anyone else but when I see someone who's pregnant and happy and you know has an awesome husband and you know that's other than my career in music that's what I want more than anything in the world and I said well you know because I want to have a baby and you know she's like well oh uh, well if you don't mind me asking you know well how old are you and I told her I said well you know I'm 43 and uh, she's like oh so you still want babies <laughs> And I was like, well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm still young enough to have them. I still want them, but I have to be married first, you know. And it just got me thinking, you know, it, it amazes me the kind of ageism that goes on. Well, not the kind. It, it amazes me how hardcore ageism is in this country. Um, what I found very, very often, and I'm not saying that everybody between the age groups that I'm about to mention is like this, but sadly, a lot of people between the this age, this age bracket, they have this kind of thinking. People who have had babies between the ages of, say, 14 to 20, because they've had them so young, they, they feel like that once you get past certain age, and we'll say 35, because that's, you know, that's pretty accurate. They feel like once you get past 35, they feel like all of a sudden you're like, oh, I haven't had a baby, I'm 35, you know, fuck it, I'm done. And that could not be further from the truth. Um, you know, at, at one point, especially when you talk about people that are from my mother's generation, you know, people at, at one point were quite regularly having babies by the time they were in their mid to late 20s. That has not been the case. Oh, oh, obviously, people still have babies, you know, in that age range. But um, in the last, I would say, 10 to 15 years, maybe even 20, that, maybe 10 to 15. Um, that's really changed. A lot of people are starting to have quite regularly. It's quite common for a lot of women to start having babies between, you know, their mid 30s to early 40s. That's very, very common. And as I'm sure many of you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to say it anyway. The reason for that is because a lot of people are, are waiting until they, they finish school until they've already, you know, been uh, involved in their career for a certain amount of years. And so that's why they end up waiting, you know. And the thing is, when you're in, you know, obviously there's a whole egg thing, blah, 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 you know, the, you know, the, the eggs decreasing and all that, um, that, that makes, you know, having babies at, you know, that time kind of risky. But it is actually a lot more commonplace to have babies between your mid-30s, early 40s than what people realize. It happens all the time. And plenty of people that have babies, you know, in you know, from their mid thirties, early forties, have healthy pregnancies and healthy babies. Um, you know, and it just amazed me that she thought, you know, that she was a that she was surprised that I still wanted children. 
I'm like, well, of course I still want children, you know? And, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I swear to you, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to people who have had babies when they're really young. But, you know, just because you didn't have them when you were, like, a child doesn't mean that once you get to a certain age that you forget about it, you know? Very, very much so the opposite. Um, and I guess I just wanted to, you know, maybe give some inspiration or some encouragement to people who are, you know, past 30. Uh, that just because you have not had babies yet... You know, whether you're married or not, whether you're in a relationship or not. But just because you haven't had babies yet, it's not too late for you. You're not old. You're nowhere near being old, you know. Um, it just, you know, obviously wasn't meant to happen for you in your mid to late 20s. Otherwise, it would have happened. And it's funny because I shared this with... Uh, a customer that came in, you know, I gave her the short version, you know, and she's like, oh, you know, people should just keep their opinions to themselves, you know, you know, you know, you, you should have your baby and you should get married when you're good and ready. Don't listen to her. You should have your baby when you're good and ready. And that made me, you know, I'm, honestly, I'm getting a little, my eyes are getting a little wet because that was a very sweet thing for her to say. And I completely agree. Now, yeah, I, I wanted to have babies and, and get married way before now, but obviously that wasn't my fate. That was not my fate. Um, but I wish everybody felt the way this girl did. You know, she's like, well, you have them when you're good and ready. You know, she didn't go like, oh, you're over 30. Oh, you know, you're 110 now, so you're fucking screwed. You know, she's like, no. You know, she had the right attitude, which is a positive attitude, which is an accurate attitude, which is a rational attitude, you know, in that you should have them when you're ready. You know, she's like, you know, you just haven't met the right person yet. And when you do, you, you know, it'll be fine. So everybody out there who's depressed or, you know, whether it's like every single day or you've had your, your times here and there where, you, where you've been depressed about it. Because I've had my days where I've been really depressed about the fact that it hasn't happened yet. But to everybody out there who, where it hasn't happened yet and you're over 30, don't despair. Don't give up. It's not too late for you. Don't listen to people out there who are ageist, who are, you know, trying to put you in the grave well before your time. They're trying to get you to sign up for AARP or whatever the fuck it's called way before your time. They want you to get a walker and knock out all your teeth and get, like, you know, partials or indentures way before your time. You're not old. It just didn't happen for you yet. And the, the, the guy or the woman of your dreams is out there. Believe me, I know I, I, I have my days where I fucking doubt that, too. I, I really do but I mean you know just because I have my days where I doubt that doesn't mean that I have overall given up on that happening for me you know my white picket fence my my you know my two hopefully maybe three but at least two children I have not completely given up on that and neither should you and don't be pressured to have children way before you're ready to just because people are like oh you're gonna be 30 you know your eggs are not dried up you know, old as Methuselah, if you haven't met the right guy, wait. I'm not saying wait until you're 75, but just wait. If you haven't met the right guy and, and you don't you don't just want to fuck any random person and have a baby with them, you don't have to do that, you know? If you don't want to have a baby through a sperm bank, you don't have to do that. And I'm not judging people that choose to, to, to have children in that fashion. That's fine. I'm not at all. I'm, that, that's If you feel like, you know, I, I'm not finding anybody, I'm just going to have, you know, sperm donated to me anonymously if that's what you honestly want to do and no one's pressuring pressuring you into that then have your babies that way but if you want if, if you're like me and you're traditional when it comes to relationships i'm i'm completely untraditional and unold-fashioned in every other aspect of my life but when it comes to relationships and having a family i'm very traditional and if you're like me and you and you haven't found the right person yet and you don't want to rush it and you don't just want to screw anybody to have a baby wait 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 um, so before I close out tonight's episode, um, Good Googly Moogly is going to, ha uh, pretty much be divided up into three categories. Um, there, there will be episodes where, where we'll just go free form and either myself or Erica, uh, myself and Erica will talk about whatever the hell we want to. Uh, other episodes will be, uh, viewer's choice where we'll either, um, you know, pick really great comments that people want us to like, you know, comment on and speak about, or we'll answer questions, uh, that people want us to answer. So it'll be it basically those two categories. Um, I'm really, really open. And even though Erica's not here, <laughs> I can speak for her and say that she's also very open to any questions, any comments, 
that you might have uh, any topic suggestions. We're open to all that. Uh, so feel free to say whatever, whenever. And this is ending Good Googly Moogly for July 9th, 2013. And see you when I see you.